Welcome to LARP Blog. My name's Amy. Uh, there's a bookcase behind the camera, so... Anyway, um, I am going to present to you a blog about LARP. Now, this is not going to be necessarily what I think is right or wrong with LARP. This is more me inviting you to see what type of stuff I do, what happens in various events, maybe a bit of footage from an event, how I pack prep for an event, various things like that. So, tomorrow we are just off to Green Cloaks. Green Cloaks is a Nerf based LARP, but, uh, somewhere around southeast, East Greenstead Way. Now, it's uh, sci fi. Um, close links, I would say, to various uh, futuristic styles. Um, I would say actually kind of similar to Starship Troop as well, the horrible nid things. That's what I've seen. You'll probably get a different view from me when I return. This is my first event. So, I am here packing, as you can see. My bed is covered in stuff, and this isn't even half it. Not food, nothing. So, various things I'm going to be taking with me. Well, my character I'm playing is going to be a sniper. So I have an all-in-one body, uh, body boiler suit. That's camo, uh, basic camouflage, kind of wood, uh, wooden style. I will also have camel packs and uh, kind of molly style uh, pack pouches and such. Uh, I've decided to opt for, uh, if I can find it, some camo paint. Because, you know, got a stick in the woods, got to be sneaky like. And here is not my sniper rifle, but uh, my hand rifle. So, something I have to keep in my person. Now, I picked up the retaliator. The one that I'm going to be using for my sniper is going to be the very well loved long strike, which unfortunately is now no longer being produced or at least being sold in the UK. So, that sucks, but this one is awesome, so I'm going to take this apart and show you how it sucks. So this one, and get the end off. I look a bit silly right now. How do you get the end off? Ah, buttons. Fun. So, what I love about the retaliator is I can have essentially, um, kind of looks like a bolt pistol from Warhammer to me. Then I can add a nice stock the back which I this is how I will probably be using this for my secondary weapon I can also if I wish have the front put on as well so I can give it a good I've got a good shoulder mount grip and I can shoot in a cock action puffed so back up weapon unfortunately the uh, long strike isn't ready yet it's been painted so I will have to leave that for another time but uh, let's show you a few various other things that I'm taking with me. So we have a box of goodies I picked up myself. I've also got my uh, lovely camo uh, buff to hide my blue hair, along with a nice snazzy hat. Because, you know, bug off home. Nice snazzy hat for uh, if it gets a little bit sunny. Fingers crossed, it's so sunny. Various important things, uh, sponges for washing up, cleaning. We're going to be taking our mini fire pit, which is adorable. It's about this big. It's got a little drop down bit, and you put coals in it, and it's enough for about two people to have a nice little fire pit going to cook on. It saves you carrying gas and stuff. We usually will just cut wood from wherever we are, but we might take some kindling with us, so it's due to have a little bit of rain. So. These are some of the pouches. This isn't actually from my Molly set. This is from my other halves. He's got the uh, desert style. Very snazzy. Mess tins. Always important. Need something to cook in and eat from. Looks very icy as well. Then we have... Ah, oh, we have camel pack. Now this is, I would say, quite an important piece of equipment for hydration purposes. So, don't know what the camel pack is. You put your water in there. It goes on your back, and you go, tasty. means you can carry out a lot of water at hand, easy as you can. And also for carrying water, we have this, which is a collapsible little, um, I say little, it's five litres. 
a collapsible water tank so it squashed up nice and fine but you can I'm not sure if I can get to pop up without actually having water in it so I might just try blowing it up so as you can see it gives you know you can get a decent amount of water in that which is quite handy and it's got a little tap on the top makes water access easy so other interesting bits and bobs that we have brought duct tape very important especially when you're the other half's playing engineer other things to cook with these are some just part of a set that Alistair had these are very useful for cooking in if you don't want to cook your mess tins and make them all black especially if they're cheap ones you've got from that 9p shop that you've brought more to eat out of rather than cook on I've cooked with some of those before I remember fire they kind of burn holes and you lose dinner it's not good so pet eggs very important especially for the designs we have for our little area of the camp now my other half is going to be sleeping in a hammock he's brave um, I'm going to be sleeping in a dragonfly tent, one of the old two person ones. Uh, we've got tarps and stuff to keep dry, areas dry slash shady depending on the weather. Uh, a lot of green coats runs in the peak summer, so I think the uh, events this year were April, June, July, August. So peak summer, but also chance of rain as well because it's England. So good multi purpose shelter means that you can get a large tarp or ground sheet as we found, straight up with uh, bit various bits or pit and then paint it down make a little shelter which is really handy this is my other house pistol now this one is an OX I believe uh, it is not Nerf he has modified this somehow himself and has made little ammo pack things that you can put in and out so you put that in lock it cock it and poofed Oh, that one works so well. So let's try again. Haha! That's when you have to cock each time. Fair enough. So, back that goes. And then in here we have the. Uh, quite sure what this is. I believe this is the Biffy bag, just in case it gets a little bit too wet. Obviously, next very important thing protecting those knees. Especially if you're playing snipers, engineers, or various other things, you can crawl on the floor up. Knee protectors, just, you know, really pretty good. Uh, this was uh, actually a very good find we found in Sainsbury's. These are, let's see if I can find my better packets. Here they are. Strikable fire lighters, genius invention, so it's like a really large match. You are, I don't know if you can see on the back, it shows you. You get your stick or your, your, your thigh lighter. It looks kind of like a match as well. You strike along here and it's lit. And that saves you forever with a tiny bit of kindling, blowing on it, getting it going. It's nice to be you chuck it, you put it in, you can do a couple if you've got a fairly large fire. But for our little tiny thing, which is here, we are not going to need many. In fact, we don't need much wood either to get going. So, this is our oops, tiny little cooking fire pit. As you can see, the middle should just drop down. Is it stuck? It's got a bit, uh, it's, got, it's got a rock stuck in it, so it's not going to as it's told right now but then you have an under bit that drops down that, and that will do for two people quite happily especially if you're both eating roughly the same thing you can probably just put, need to cook one pot on there rather than two which is rather nice and get this thing shut again anyway so that's a little insight to my packing um at this point, there's not much else to talk about except for thing, like, things that are necessary. You need lots of water, sun cream, bug spray. Kind of bog standard things you want for camping. Car. 
I've done LARPing without a car, I've done doing it via tra public transport, it's a lot of faff, it's a lot of hassle, and especially when you're travelling from where from more than 10 miles away, it's a lot of bother. I would say get a car or bag, uh, you know, blag, some, blag a lift off somebody with a car. There's loads of people happily take money to give you a lift up to, to whatever event you're going to. So that's it for me right now. I'm probably going to do another blog soon, probably once I've packed a bit, talking a bit more about my character, about the actual laugh itself. This is literally just a hello, nice to meet you. So, hi, bye, and I'll talk to you soon.